Hi everyone, today we're looking at platypi. Yes, that type of platypi. When platypi were first seen by European scientists in 1799, they thought it was fake. Why? Because it looks like someone sewed a duckbill onto the body of a beaver. This is why the scientific name of a platypus now is Ornithorhynchus anatinus, which literally means duck-like bird snout. Also, did you know a baby platypus is called a puggle? Unlike actual pugs though, puggles aren't smashed in the face of the pan. But platypi are more interesting than their name. So you know how old cowboy boots had spurs on the heel? Well, platypi literally have spurs on their flippers, and the male platypus even has le lethal poison on their back ankle spurs. Now, the poison isn't lethal to us humans, but it is lethal to small dogs. So Jessica, don't let your little chihuahua rat get close to one of those. Somehow this semi-aquatic animal also has a sense of electroreception, meaning they locate their prey in part by detecting electric fields generated by muscle muscular contractions. The semi-aquatic platypi lives in small streams and rivers over an extensive range from the cold highlands of Tasmania and the Australian Alps to the tropical rainforests of coastal Queensland as far north as the base of the Cape York Peninsula. Most platypi live in Australia, however, there are a couple living in zoos across the world. This whole animal is an anomaly. It looks like a duck-beaver hybrid, lays eggs like a chicken, has an electroreception like dolphins. This thing shouldn't exist. One day nature was like, you know what would be funny? And just smashed everything together. And out popped the platypus.